Alright guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to change your IP address if you have Verizon Fios and an Action Tech router. So to do this, you're either going to need to have a laptop and be sitting right next to your router or be on a desktop with your router right next to your desk. And before we start, you should also feel around on the back of your router and find where the power switch is because you're going to need to be able to access that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google, type in what's my IP address, put that in the bar up top, I don't know what that's called. Then uh, go type in admin, and then your password. If you have an older router, they probably handed you your password on like a piece of paper or something, but if you have a relatively new router within the last couple years, it'll be on the bottom of your router. Um, your username should be admin unless something's weird. Then you're going to want to go up here to My Network, and then over here to the left, Network Connections. And then you're going to want your Broadband Connection Ethernet Coax, and then you're going to kick, click <laughs> this little action thing on the far right that says Edit. And then down here, Settings, and then this Release button. Now don't just come in here and hit Release. Um, well that is what you do, but you need to be ready to flip the power switch on the back of your router right after you hit release. So the step is you click release, you wait for the uh, light on your router to turn orange and then flip the power switch. Uh, once that happens you have to wait about 20 to 30 minutes and then you turn the power switch back on and it'll take, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three, maybe even five minutes for your router to connect back to the Fios network but once it does you should have a new IP address so yeah I'm gonna do it right now and hopefully it works we can check back in 20 minutes and see that it does alright release boom no data received bang orange light flip the switch and now it's just a waiting game alright guys so checking back in it took two minutes for my router to turn back on and reconnect to the Fios network and to just make sure I got a new IP address what's my IP? 10831133139 and you can see that that's different from 72834428 which was my earlier IP address so it worked um, the only thing I would say is if you do it and you turn your router back on too soon sometimes uh, the first three numbers won't change and only the last three will if that happens you don't have a new IP address so uh, you're gonna have to do it again and it's best to be patient but yeah just make sure that these three numbers up here change and you'll be good to go